Okay, welcome YouTube, and today I'm going to be hopefully finishing this M20 Epla M40A3. Let's start by adding an image. It was the very first image we had. Well, depending on an image that you have a um, trigger set up. Let me just find mine. This isn't going to be the fanciest trigger ever. It's going to be very basic. But it will be an OK trigger. Just for the add plane. OK, Control Z on it, add A. Cube size it down a lot. Grab it, move over there, size it down some more. Grab it, move over there, size it down some more. OK, just scroll in. OK, tab in edit mode. Select these vertices, just drag up there. Drag that there. Extrude these down if it would cooperate. Size this down. Size this down actually as well. Oh, one sec. No, I don't want to size it down. Press Control Z. Press E to extrude. And the reason I don't want to size that bit down there is because when you size it down, it's that, and I have four vertices selected, it makes them go closer to the center. Now that's good for things like I've done, like the military canteen and stuff. But for this, you want this to be all the same, like thickness. I'm thinking, I think that's the word I'm trying to use, find, is thickness. Because if some bits are smaller than others, then it will just look weird as all hell. So there's no sizing down this bit, it's all grabbing and moving. Just B, extrude, G, extrude, G. Extrude. Now the mesh might look a little weird here. That's why we got to fix it up. Because before it was all at doing it at angles. Now you don't want it at angles. Okay, just extrude that along. G, just chuck it over there. Actually, throw another, throw an edge loop in here. Just to give it a little more fullness. Okay, B, extrude, grab it, chuck it up there. Controller, because as you can see, it went a bit off there. B, extrude, chuck it up there somewhere. And like before, the mesh is going to look weird, so we've got to fix it up. Because it's um, changing the uh, yeah direction, so it might look so it looks a little weird sometimes. Controller G V extrude up G there. B now extrude up B chuck that over there B chuck that over there extrude up now I'm actually going to make the the trigger a part of actually you know I, I think I will I think I'll make the trigger a separate bit to shift A, add mesh cube, size it down a lot. And I bet that I've done, yeah, it's not even under, under each other, so well, view from. I could fix that easily if, as long as it's all on the same row, same, like, plane of X. So tab in edit mode, press B, select that half, drag it over there. B, G, drag it over here. Ex 
control R to click in there so that now I can start actually making the trigger it's gonna start off weird but it will turn out yeah but this to this um tutorial series I guess what we can be called will be actually used later since I'll be showing you how to make a scope it's a fairly decent scope it's not like really 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 good but you can always add textures to it but yeah I'll be showing you how to make a scope I might show you how to make a bullet I can't make them that well but I'll show you just for a demonstration purpose and then I'll actually make a um, a uh, video on how to animate it so it's like a the bullet goes in they put the bullet in the chamber they know first they um pull the bolt up pull it back put the bullet in put the bolt back lock it down and then shoot it I'll probably be making a tutorial on how to do that and I say probably because I might I might not depends if anyone wants it if no one wants it then I don't really see the point but I still probably will do it anyway now select both the trigger and the um, trigger guard I think it's called press G on the Y axis and you want to actually go view top and you want it pretty much in the center I reckon that's the center. If not, it's pretty damn close. And what I'm actually going to do is apply a subdivision surface modifier to both of them. Make them shade smooth. Shade smooth. And tab into edit mode. Press Control R go along like that, control R so it still has that um, kind of solid feel but it's less like um, nah, I don't really know the word for it but it's less yeah I don't know the word for it um, but yeah it's less uh, sharp around the corners so it looks more normal Okay, I think that will do for the trigger. Looks quite well. But when I actually get to animating the trigger, I'll probably have to cut it there or something, I don't know. But I'll cross that when I come to it. And yeah, now let's just add some. Um, actually, how am I doing for time? You know what, screw it. If this goes over 15 minutes, I'll have to upload this one. I'm not making another video on how to model this gun. Okay, I don't think I've forgotten anything, so let's uh, so let's apply some mod uh, blah, some materials. I'm gonna make this a green, a uh, pretty uh, like very dark green. Um, control copy that color and paste into the specularity and turn the specularity down. Because a shiny gun is just doesn't look right. Well, a really shiny gun, especially since this is a military gun. Now I don't know if I should um, texture this barrel. So yeah, I will. And I'm gonna make it a dark grey. But this can have a little shine on it but it's going to be a lot le a bit less like that and then the bolt is going to have its own texture and it's going to be a lighter shade of grey and it's going to have almost no spec it's going to have almost no shine on it and add that to me 
oh one sec before I forget this main bolt here yeah the main the bit that actually fits into the gun you can see it there it's outlined and this bit here the bit that comes off the gun the bit that comes off the bolt are not joined so let's join them now just select one then shift select the other go objects join or control J also before I actually forget tab that into edit mode press A to select all G X and move it up so that you get the dot which means that's the where the object will rotate from and everything make sure that's in the middle of the gun and then press G X when you're out of edit mode and move it back that will save you a lot of problems later believe me I didn't do that on my one before this and it made some problems and let's just leave that trigger assembly like that so press zero turn off this background image um, actually I'll put it over here somewhere Tick. View top. G rotate it, but there rotate on the z-axis like so. Yeah, go on to camera mode by pressing zero G R no blah. G middle mouse click. G middle mouse click again. G middle mouse click again. Now view top again and shove this light over here. And we're going to have to move this light down. And let's uh, first save. Remember, save first. And run our image. And as you see, that looks. It's an okay looking gun with better textures that would look better. And obviously, a better light setup. Because this portion here is very dark. But yeah. That's just the basic M M4OA3. And that will conclude part four of actually making the M4083. I may, may, I might make a tutorial on how to do the scope and a bullet. That will probably be in the same tutorial. And then I'll do a tutorial on putting it all together. And then probably another tutorial after that of the animation of it. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Well, not stay tuned, but whatever. See you guys.